Hi, I'm David Fleming, and I want to welcome you to the YouTube channel of Disciples Ignited, where we are focused on Jesus, advancing his kingdom, and preparing his disciples. And talking about preparing disciples, I have written a series of books on discipleship. It's called the Spirit-Filled Discipleship Series. It's three books, each one full of content from God's Word that is going to help you learn what discipleship is all about and help you grow as a disciple. So I encourage you to look them up on Amazon. It's going to be a great resource for you that you can use in your individual life as well as in a group setting. Now, let's get started on our study on modern-day prophets and prophetic ministry. We've already studied from Ephesians chapter 4, verse 11, how Jesus has put leadership offices in the church to help us all grow into maturity, how to help us grow into the fullness of Christ, as Paul put it. These are the apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers. That means... Since Jesus has given these offices of leadership without them, we are sadly going to be lacking that which we need to grow into the fullness of Christ. That means the prophet must be a functioning office of ministry in the church. Oh, thankfully, the church is much more open today to the prophetic office and to those that are operating in the prophetic ministry. But did you realize that the Holy Spirit is also playing a part in this? The Holy Spirit is giving gifts, distributing gifts into the church to help us all function in the life and ministry of Jesus. Let me read about these gifts. We find it in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, and we start at verse 7. Now to each one, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for the common good. To one there is given through the Spirit a message of wisdom, to another a message of knowledge by means of the same Spirit, to another faith, to another gifts of healings, to another miraculous powers, to another prophecy, to another distinguishing between spirits, to another speaking in different kinds of tongues, and still to another the interpretation of tongues. I hope that you got that the Holy Spirit has given the gift of prophecy. And then in verse 11, all these are the work of one and the same Spirit, and he distributes them to each one just as he determines. Now, that makes it sound like the Holy Spirit is distributing to those that he determines that we have nothing to say about what gifts we receive. That's not entirely true, because as we continue reading uh, in the book of Corinthians, we go down a couple of chapters, and in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 1, we read, Follow the way of love and eagerly desire the gifts of the Spirit. So we're to desire to be used in the gifts. The Holy Spirit's distributing them. We are to desire to be used in them. But then Paul says, eagerly desire the spiritual gifts, especially prophecy. That means that the prophetic gift is especially important to the Lord, and he wants us to desire to be used in this pro in prophetic ways. Oh, that's exciting. That's exactly what Joel sensed from the Spirit when he prophesied and wrote about in his uh, book, the book of Joel, and that Peter later uh, quoted on the day of Pentecost. In Acts chapter 2, verse 17 and 18, we've already read, but I'll read it again. In the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and your daughters will prophesy. So we see that the Holy Spirit has distributed many gifts into the church, but we are to eagerly desire the gift of prophecy. Now, did you realize that some people begin to prophesy the very moment they are baptized in the Holy Spirit? Listen to this. Acts chapter 19, verse 6, when Paul placed his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came on them, and they spoke in tongues and prophesied. Oh, y'all, this is a, a great time to be alive because the Holy Spirit is moving in the church in wonderful ways, distributing gifts, and we are told to eagerly desire to flow in the prophetic gifts. Hallelujah. So if you're not flowing in prophetic ways, that we are told in the Bible to eagerly desire to prophesy. You pray for it, and let's see what the Holy Spirit does in your life. See you tomorrow.